during the off season, especially there's really just two groups of people. There's the homers and the haters. And I think quite often I, I'm more regarded towards that hater group, but I think that's only because I surround myself with homers. Like I want to having to talk people off the ledge a little bit. However, me, myself, I'm really down the middle with this team, and I have been since the offseason. You know, I predicted them at 9-8. and eight. So far, what I've seen in four weeks, I don't know about you guys, but I, I see a pretty much a 500 football team. 9-8 and eight is kind of where I'm at still. I just kind of want to let you guys in a little bit on my football philosophy. And me, personally, my opinion, I'm such a Super Bowl or bust guy. For me, it's hard to be satisfied even by success if it doesn't result in a Super Bowl. Like, I look at what the Rams did when they pushed their chips all in, and I'm like, good for them because they won. I'm looking at what San Francisco's doing, pushing their chips all in, and I'm like, oh, man, it's rough because they haven't won one. I don't care if you're making the NFC Championship or making the Super Bowl. If you're not going to come away with the trophy, in my opinion, it's, it's tough. And when you look at the landscape of the NFL, right, like guys with Super Bowl rings, and it's Aaron Rodgers at the end of it, right? Like Russell Wilson, who's not even starting. I mean, what, Joe Flacco's a backup? All these guys that have rings are pretty much at the end of their careers, and then there's Patrick Mahomes with three of them. The obstacle is very tough. It's very high. And in my opinion, you got to be really damn good, really damn good for me to be, like, truly satisfied and happy about my football team. You know, nine and eight – I don't know how happy I, I'm going to be. I, that, that is my prediction, but I just don't know how satisfied I'm going to be at the end of the day if that's where we wind up. And I'm just kind of kind of going back to this going, man, really kind of wish we would have maybe done the whole coaching overhaul at once along with the quarterback. I just feel like this might wind up being a little bit of a lame duck here because the holes on this team are pretty obvious, and they have been, and, and they've been repeating. But also, kind of with my prediction from the preseason and David's too, we both agreed that this is going to have to be a defense-first team. And if you need to lean on the offense early on, that's a problem. And You're down six points, a minute and a half left. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, that's an opportunity to win. Aaron Rodgers, that's an opportunity to win. You know what I mean? For a rookie quarterback in his second game ever, that's something you have to check off the checklist, and unfortunately he wasn't able to do that. However, we're asking him to do that way too early on. I, I would hope that this transition of leaning on the offense does happen at some point into the season, but it's kind of what I thought it would be. This is a very defensive-heavy team, and that's our strength. However, we did draft two offensive players with you know two top ten picks in the draft. Like At some point, that's going to have to come in and help out. And It's not going to just like sway all at once. It's going to be in little – little bounces opportunities. So like, I kind of wish that Caleb would have driven the team down against Houston and scored. I mean, who wouldn't, but he didn't, like I said, it's a little too early to ask him with that against the Rams. I thought they had a really, really good performance this last game. 